Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna go over a few more examples of trigonometric integrals. So we're gonna work on a couple of examples over here. So one of them is this one, then this one, and third one is this one. Let's start with the first one, which is secant x over secant x plus tangent x. So what we're gonna do in this one is, we're gonna like I always try to make my integral simpler so that I can find the integration. So our first goal is I want to get rid of the denominator. So what you can do to get rid of denominator. So see if I can make the denominator equal to secant square x minus tangent square x which is a trigonometric identity which is equal to 1 and then it will be I think much easier to solve it. So how we can do? So remember, I'm going to use this formula over here, which is a minus b into a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. See, I already got a plus b. So I want to multiply it by a minus b. So my a is secant x and b is tangent x. So I'm going to do a conjugate over here. So that will look like secant x divided by secant x plus tangent x I'm gonna multiply and divide it by secant x minus tangent x okay so same thing over here secant x minus tangent x dx so numerator gonna use the uh, distributive properties secant x multiplied by secant x gives me secant square x minus secant x into tangent x and denominator will be see a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so it is written as secant square x minus tangent square x so and we all know from trigonometric identity this is equal to 1 so what I'll get over here integration of secant secant square x minus secant x tangent x dx and uh, denominator will be equal to 1 so let's solve that so rewrite it so integration of secant square x dx minus integration of secant x tangent x dx and we all know from the formulas of integration like the integral of secant square x is equal to tangent x and the integration of secant x into tangent x is equal to secant x plus the constant of integration so that's how we can find the integration just to make our integral simple okay let's do the second problem which is sine power 6x plus cos power 6x divided by sine square x into cos square x so again my goal is to make it look simpler so we're gonna do there's a trick let me uh, 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 let's do this color. So I'm gonna use this formula over here. So a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b cube minus 3ab into a plus b. And you will see. So what we can do we can change the sine and cosine look like these numbers over here so for example sine square x I'm gonna put cube on the top same thing with the cosine cosine square x i'm gonna put cube and then in the denominator we got sine square x plus cosine square x dx and you will see why I'm doing it okay you see if then when we're gonna put a plus b cube so our a is sine square x and b is cos square x 
so this will give me one yeah this will give me one so sine square x plus cosine square x will be one Let, let's do it and you guys will see what i'm talking let's say this is equal to i and i'm gonna write it over here okay so let's use this identity over here so a plus b cube so a is sine square x and b is cos square x so that means it is equal to sine square x plus cosine square x is to power 3 minus 3a so a is sine square x and b is cos square x okay into a plus b which is sine square x plus cosine square x okay. and divide it by sorry this is a multiplication not not addition here okay. so in the denominator we got sine square x into cosine square x and so when we look at this so this will be basically equal to so you'll see sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1 minus again sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1 so looks like we already made it a little bit easier cosine square x and divide it by sine square x into cosine square x dx. I keep forgetting dx okay so now let's rewrite that so i'm gonna rewrite this which will be basically one over sine square x into cosine square x and this cancel out with each other will give me just three so this part over here gives me three sine square x cos square x divided by sine square x cos square x cancel out just gives me three over here all right and let, let's do one more trick which is so if i change this one to sine square x plus cosine square x and divide it by sine square x into cos square x minus 3 dx and you'll see what I'm doing over here so what I'm gonna do so this part will become sine square x over sine square x cos square x and this part will become cos square x over sine square x cos sine square x so basically i break this down minus 3 dx and you will see why i did that you see here sine cancel with the sine cosine cancel with the cosine so that will give me 1 over cos square x and you all know 1 over cos x is secant x so 1 over 1 over cos square x is going to be secant square x plus 1 over sine x is cosecant x so 1 over sine square x is going to be cosecant square x minus 3 dx and now just solve the integration i'm going to separate all of them so one first of them is going to be secant square x dx second one is going to be cosecant square x dx and third one is going to be just 3 it's constant out dx so one of them secant square x and we all know the integration of secant square x is tangent x and the integration of cosecant square x is negative cotangent x and this will cancel out with that just give me 3x plus the constant all right that was a little lengthy problem but we got done okay let's do one more the third one which is integration of 
1 over tan x plus cotangent x secant x cosecant x so we got all of them wow that is going to be lengthy problem again but we'll get it done so again my goal is to make it look like as simple as possible let's say this is equal to i integral okay so let's make it simple what should we do over here if we look at it can we rewrite them make them look little simpler so yeah we can let's try so tangent x can be written as sine x over cosine x and cotangent x is written as cos x over sine x and secant x is equal to 1 over cos x and cosecant x is equal to 1 over sine x okay so now 1 over so let's find the common denominator so common denominator looks like it's going to be sine x into cosine x so over here okay sine x cosine x and remember this is all over one so if we got sine x cosine x this is cos so i'll get sine square x over here sine square x then i'll get cosine square x then i get sine x then i get cosine x and i think you guys all know how to write or add the fractions you know so i'm not going over the detail of how we got that and dx is equal to so this numerator over here oh sorry this denominator over here when we flip it will become numerator so this will be equal to sine x cosine x divided by sine square x plus cosine square x and you i think you guys already saw the magic sines x and cos x so um, see this sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to one okay let me rewrite over here so we made it a little bit easier what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a couple of things over here i'm gonna multiply it by one half oh sorry or multiply it by two and divide it by two same thing and so that'll be two sine x cosine x 1 over 2 over here and divide it by this is going to be equal to 1 so 1 plus sine x into sorry plus cosine x okay and this is equal to I'm gonna do one more trick over here okay so I'm gonna add 1 in the numerator sine x cosine x and I'm gonna subtract one you guys will see why I'm doing it just give it a second so we got 1 plus sine x plus cos x okay and and this one I'm gonna write it back equal to sine square x plus cosine square x Okay, so 1 over 2 have patience guys I know this is a little lengthy problem but we're gonna get it done so 1 can be written as sine square x plus cosine square x okay, plus 2 sine x cosine x minus 1 over 1 plus sine x and cosine x dx and if you notice this part over here this part over here if you remember uh, let me write with different color if you remember a plus b square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab or a square plus 2ab plus b square same thing okay so that's the identity we're gonna use in this one let me 
make more space here okay here we go okay so this is going to be equal to one half so this part here so our a is sine x and b is cosine x so this can be this part in the parenthesis can be written as sine x plus cosine x square minus one okay and in the denominator we'll get one or see i'm gonna change it into i'm gonna uh oh i made a mistake there again not a multiplication it's addition cosine x i'm gonna make it uh, look like the numerator too so i'm gonna bring sine x plus cosine x plus one just rearrange them all right now if you look carefully this part over here if i put square on the one doesn't make any change but if you look at it it looks like a square minus b square which is basically equal to a plus b into a minus b so in my case our a is basically sine x plus cosine x okay and our b is just one so we're gonna use this identity formula okay and let's do that so this will give me 1 over 2 integration of so let me write my a sine x plus cosine x plus 1 so this is my a over here and this is b so a plus b now i'm gonna write my a minus b so my a is again sine x plus cosine x minus 1 that's my b and divide it by again sine x plus cosine x is my a and plus 1 is my b if you notice now let's do some math See, sine x plus cosine x plus 1 is in the numerator, it's in the denominator too, and there is a multiplication sign. So we can cancel these two out. And we're left with only 1 half integration of sine x plus cosine x minus 1. Okay, dx dx and dx all right so this is not five this is s okay so that gives me one half into integration of sine x is minus cos x integration of cos x is sine x and this one integration one dx will give me minus x plus the constant of integration see that's how we can make these complicating looking integrals into simpler looking just by using some uh, substitutions so you need to remember a few formulas and you'll be good to go okay and my goal is to change this integral into as simple as possible all right so first problem was this one then we worked on this one and this is our last part thanks for watching the video guys please share with your friends and subscribe to the my channel thank you have a good day bye bye